hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel a lot of people have been condemning all the moves made by the indigenous people of biafra the agitators around the world over the fact that they're not keeping quiet they have been eating the streets they have been shouting it in the at the top of their voices insisting that Mazin and Bikano should be free well it looks like those activities that people condemn that saying doesn't make sense is beginning to make sense after all as they're beginning to get quick response to some of the things they've been asking for before going to the news proper to find out exactly what is happening in the international scene concerning Mazin and Bikano would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you'll see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on our youtube but let's go straight into the news of the day uh, the british high commission abuja has said it, it is taking steps to secure consular assistance or consular access to the leader of the indigenous people of biafra ipub that's mazen namdekano the head of communications british high commission abuja then holok disclosed the development in abuja Responding to an inquiry from the newspaper regarding the ongoing trial of Kano, he said the United Kingdom government does not comment on ongoing legal proceedings. Holok further said that the British High Commission was in contact with the Nigerian government, Kano's family and his legal team. I quote him, we are in regular contact with the Nigerian authorities and remain in contact with his family and legal representatives we are taking steps to secure consular access he said in june the indigenous people of biafra leader was arrested and it does in kenya and taken to nigeria to face treason charges he was sub subsequently arranged and brought before bin a judge of the federal high court in abuja who asked him to be remanded in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, Kano is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at a court in response to his agitation for the Republic of Biafra. He was recently arranged at the Federal High Court in Abuja where he faced seven amended counts bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony leveled against him by the Nigerian government. He was taken to court last Thursday, October the 21st by the DSS amid tight security he pleaded not guilty to the charges and his case was subsequently adjourned to november 10th meanwhile a briton recently led a protest to the united kingdom parliament to question prime minister boris johnson over his refusal to intervene in the perceived marginalization of Igbo people in nigeria in a video shared the white man who was flanked by people with biafran flags alleged that the united kingdom prime minister is only after money and power the man also urged the british prime minister to ensure the ipob leader is immediately released as the latter is a british citizen i think that was not it wasn't actually the prime minister he was referring to katrina lalong who happened to be i think the commissioner here in nigeria yeah but i don't think he's actually referring to prime minister what he was actually saying the video is in our playlist actually what he was actually saying that um he said why is that particular thing that things that are happening in the south is why is it that that particular information does not go around that the whole world gets to see it you know all they get to hear is the usual thing but nobody gets to hear exactly what is going on to the the indie wolves and don't forget that mazin americano is actually a british citizen so he's saying look uh, don't you also look after your own is mazin americano no more a british citizen why shouldn't you be, you know, paying attention to what is happening to your own, your British citizen and all that? I think the whole video, if you, for for better understanding, just check out playlist to see the video actually. But now he's actually saying that they should look into the issue of Mazen Namdekano. Where he has said that they should free Mazen Namdekano, and and that should be be your priority. Free your citizen because you are doing nothing. We have had enough of all this. All hail Biafra. Of course, you think one thing I do know for sure is. Some persons think um, little drops of water makes nothing. Continually keep putting that little drops of water. Give it time. You will realize you have a bucket full. Uh, at some point, you find out that everywhere is filled with water. Those noises you call noise, you call them little noises. But as time goes on, it will become an inferno. It becomes something unbearable. One thing I give to the beer friends, the agitators, I can't take it away from them. Everywhere, they keep making, they repeat the same thing over and over again. 
they wear you out with their talks they wear you out with their worries with their shout with their agitation until finally you say okay what is it say okay what is it and it, sometimes you may say the, the, they're not going through the right way they're going through the crude way and all that but eventually for how long will people keep quiet at some point even if you don't want to say it openly you just say that people should just attend to these guys man whatever it is you at some point I can't forget what happened to hashtag and SARS. It looked as if it was nothing. It was trending. After a while, some celebrities, world class celebrities, United States celebrities, you know, world class musicians had to ask, What's up, guys? What's happening in Nigeria? What's up with this hashtag and SARS? You know, the people now had to start explaining. It was one of the, the greatest sensation I've ever heard in a long time, especially when it comes to social media. You know, it was trended, it was heavy, it was number one trending for a very long while. So you now you now have to see the power of communication, always staying relevant. So yes, 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 uh, you would say that uh, they're not going through the right way, but eventually they're getting ahead one way or the other. Don't forget that they have their, um, one of the legal persons, that's uh, Bruce Fain, who also doubles as an American citizen. So he's also pushing from that angle. Don't also forget, he has made um, a lot of moves in submitting the issue of BFR agitation in some quarters of the whole world, UN and the, and the likes. And now, and we have um, these British citizens. Also, don't forget that they also, Mazinam can double as a British citizen. So there's also, you know, information is coming out over there. Even if you don't want to react openly, but there's still some, you know, uh, you know, uh, over a closed door meetings that may be holding that they have refused to bring out because one Nigeria is a sovereign country, okay, so you can't just barge into Nigeria and begin to make demands. But there are processes, and those processes may come to play. And this is getting very interesting because finally it looks like the, the beer friends, those who are agitating, are getting heard. So now, with that noise, you know, there's one beautiful thing about life is if you realize the person you're dealing with will not make noise. He will not shout. He will not complain. He will just grumble. Get this grunted and take it in good faith. Um, unfortunately, the agitators for Biafra are not like that. If you make any move, they will scream it. They will shout it at the top of their voice. They will go to your embassy. They will shout it. They will make a video of it and it will go viral. So you got to be very... That's why they are quite a sensitive people. Their matters are very sensitive. People are very careful dealing with them because if you do it the wrong way they are very they have very uh, strong legal luminaries that would actually take pick it up and you know go through the regular process then you begin to there's somebody there's a general adage that say a madman no get person but when you beat them or kill them you know say get family he get father and mother put the watch on from distance that's to tell you that these guys you may say there some persons even stoop so low as to call them miscreants okay if you think they are try and see and see how this miscreant, some of them you call miscreant, actually have, you know, latest vehicles and names in big uh, organizations. They now begin to know that they are really not miscreants after all. What you get to see are those food soldiers always on the street. That's what we're going to wrap it up. <laughs> Let's meet in our conversation also. Take two.